Anywhere I am better than the best guy In the world I am probably in the best five When it's rented we gon' count it as a test drive Got a custom gold chain to let my chest thrive With that being said You need to tell the truth Even you as a rapper who's coming up like In fact don't stress yourself with trying to be like North God North God is fresh He's the North God bro You're not the North God mm. So don't try to be the North God Where are you from? Speak about the struggles of the people that are going through what you're going through, where you're from. Don't worry about impressing the North people or people or whoever you're trying to impress. Like, actually get the people behind. Like, man, damn. You know, I could yeah. say it like a lot, yeah. you know? But it's so important because then you don't have to stress. If you're saying like, yo, man, I'm taking a taxi. Mm. Same clothes in the, in the wardrobe. Mm. Same same chores I need to go up. Yeah. That's me now. I still need to get up in the morning for my mama crib and and clean and wash the dishes, my nigga. Like you're not pretty ugly here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. So I know you need you gotta go and perform and go be fresh for an interview. But hey, the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Type situation. So it's like people need to know that like you're actually. You're a real you're a real person and I don't have to have like cameras and a reality show for me to show it to you. I can tell it to you in my in my mm, music because mm. I think people mess with what they can relate to. If people how many how many people in South Africa are catching taxis every single day in the morning? All of us. Everyone. Know? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like if I'm saying yo, I'm in my Bentley. Yeah. Tr you know what I mean? I'm not that's not even a diss to Casper. It's like do I expect the person like in in a taxi to relate to it, but I'm also not, I'm also not saying don't give them aspirations to yes, be fresh. Also, yes. let them know that yo, this is when I'm saying this, this is an aspiration. I'm not saying that I'm in a Rari. I'm saying like yo, this is what I aspire to have, but this is not how I actually live. Mm. You know, that's very important. You know, you don't have to post it on your gram because on your gram you get to post what you want to post. So unfortunately, or fortunately, people are gonna see what's good. People don't want to post up their scars. For you to ridicule like if i'm posting up something that i put effort into and someone can still come and diss it and still say qua 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 ah retire aren't you imagine tired imagine more about your, you know? your demons imagine you more my up. demons now mm. you know they're gonna they're gonna be they're gonna be happy mm. you know so it's like you just gotta put on a brave face also as a rapper so unfortunately yeah you need to let them know that yo even through the midst of what i'm going through I'm still fresh, you know. Yeah. I had a long ass day before this interview. So much is going on, but like yeah. I'm here doing my job. It's not even a job. Like this is what I love. You yeah. Know? I'm I'm actually chilling with a person who I actually admire yeah. and like chilling with. I oh, love having dope. conversations <laughs> with Christians. Yeah. You know? So, but it doesn't mean that I don't go through yeah. life. So rappers speak about what's going on in your in your life. Yeah. You know, and people. And don't and don't worry about being number one now, dog. It's, this thing is a journey. Mm, you know, don't mm. don't don't start now and think you if in a month if I'm not on, it's over. Mm. So you really got to put in the work, man. How how do you keep going? You know, how do you keep going when you reach ten years, eleven years, and it's, it looks like the same cycle? Yeah. And things are not moving. You know, and I can imagine when you sign when you sign to Ambitious, you probably had a little bit of a a relief to say okay at least now i don't have to like do everything myself yeah. you know then you come to learn that actually you never stop doing anything for yourself you yourself. know you're speaking about how you had plans to to do different things and stretch out the album mm -hmm. apart from the label obviously coming on board resource wise and maybe hands wise um why why didn't you carry out those plans was it because one you wanted the bigger machine to assist in coming through with those plans mm -hmm. or because it's not like you can exactly go out and start your own tour sure. without ambitious approving or vice yeah. versa you know so um those plans that you had for egypt mm -hmm. why is it that you did not push through or carry through with them i mean there were plans that um i think in were going into may and i was still waiting for of, of in my list of 10 things to do i was still waiting for nine of those things to be done mm -hmm. from last year may when i was signed you know and so it's like i could do the tour and we can plan a tour but it's like but the late but i have i have all this infrastructure behind me i should be getting support to do this thing but it's like you know what <sighs> to realistically be speaking you know there's like 18 
18, 19, when I was there, artists, you know, and the majority of us have the same team. People are gonna catch L's. Mm. A lot of people are gonna catch L's. So a lot of my plans, are, are still waiting for, author, for authorization on the plans, waiting for, yo, we need capital to get the buses to go, you know, we need the merch to go. No, wait, a lot of waiting. Mm. It's like, nah, and I couldn't do it. It's like, I, I personally work way too hard to be chilling here at home. Waiting for a booking to come, like, oh, and then, mm. nah, I wasn't about that. It's like, when I was on my own, I knew, like, if something wasn't done, it's because I didn't do it, you know? I, 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 for me, now, it's like, things weren't getting done. It's like, I was expecting things to be done. I was expecting by now, came April, we should have been on the fourth, fifth single, visuals-wise already, mm. you know? But, like I said, 19 artists, we dropped five albums in two weeks. Have there, have, there been, have there been people that have approached you since leaving Ambitious? Because there's always the people that are like, no, I can do better. Yeah. Come work with me. Have you had some offers where people are like, no, come through. A lot, uh, yeah. Let's, let's work. Yeah, I have, you know. Some, some of them I'm, I'm in talks with right now. Um, some of them, not necessarily. Um, but being in the infrastructure of the label, I do realize like what artists need. You know, uh, unfortunately, independently, it's going to be very hard for you to go get yourself played on every single radio station. Mm. There's 240 plus radio stations in the country, you know, and they're all in different regions, community to big, you know, and it's like if you're fighting like me, like I was fighting Metro FM, play me, play me, it's like, dog, <laughs> it's like, my G, we have, we have first 30 or 40 top charting artists that we need to choose from, and then we still need to choose another. 40 from the international list, you know what I mean? And then like from like the indies, you know, there's Casper, there's, you know, there's Ambitious, which is an indie, there's Mabala, which is indie actually, you know? Galawa, which are indies. We still have all these people to play. Anyone has to play you. Mm. Mm. Come on, bro, what are you, don't, don't waste our time. That's what it is. So it's like, don't, don't focus on Metro. Like they'll play you when it's important to play you. When it's this, like when they know that yes, as people want to hear this guy, people are demanding this, and like you're 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 arcing it up everywhere type yeah. situation, yeah. you know. Um, so then, do these community radio stations everywhere? Yeah, I mean, but the labels have the plug where they can just send an email once to all those radio stations and they play them. You unfortunately don't have that luxury you send an email and they're not gonna respond anytime soon i can guarantee you because there's twenty thousand other guys just like you mm. so it's like you actually have to go to every single town every city selling merch selling cds it's expensive mm. it's very expensive you know that's where the labels come in that's where i signed to a label more than anything it's just like i need a funding the to extra like, hand yeah i need the funding and the extra hands to do the things i needed to do and you know what i mean so so while i was doing that with you know the label um so, like I was saying, so there is the importance in the label, you know what I mean? Um, the infrastructure or having the security to, and not even the security, you just have to wor worry about making music. Mm. That's it. For them, it's like, yo, okay, yo, we'll, we'll handle, we'll respond to the emails, you know? You must make music and be on social media, you know? We'll handle the emails, we'll handle the nitty gritties, we'll sort out the plans, we'll, We'll do everything else. Back Why not up. just, you know? Yeah. And for me, it's like, I wanted to be part of, like, planning the tour. I wanted to be, I wanted to say what goes on the shirt. I wanted to say, yo, let's discuss the album cover together. What's going to go into the sleeve, yo? Based on, like, my, best, based on, like, the title, everything godly, your patience and time, you know? Mm. What are you guys saying, you know, PR? How can we expand on this, you know? Mm. And it's like... And I, and, and I wasn't getting people who could expand on my ideas. Mm. So I was like, no, I need to do it with my own people. And yes, people have been hitting me up. People have been labels here and there. And I'm not saying I'll never sign. Um, I didn't leave Ambitious because like there was issues with record labels, which mm. I think there is everywhere. In business, yeah. issues anyway. In life in general, no in, place in, is green. In ever. life, mm. you know what I mean? Which is like... Mm, I just wanted to do things in the way that I think 
because I think my thinking is different. And if I got signed and had to do things the way they did it with everyone else, it's mm. like it doesn't make me it's different. Not gonna work, yeah. It's not going to work. So I'd much rather I'm more content now. I'm happier, you know. And I think the music is a reflection of of that. It's also because when I was working on Egypt, I was, you know, yeah. going through a lot. Yeah, I could hear that because yeah. Egypt because the luck sounds very rebellious. It's yeah. it's got a little bit of a yeah, like yeah. it sounds like a breaking out and an introduction of a new sound. Mm. You know, it's it, it sounds like especially when it gets to the bottom of the album. Um, I love how you put the beginning of Egypt original in the middle, yeah. in between yeah. your your new sounds, sound, you know. Yeah. Um, what's going on there? Because, like I said, it's you don't know me yet on steroids. Yeah. Very, very trippy, very spacey. Um, yeah. What are you and Richie up to with that sound? Hey man, it's just like... First Citizen, shout out First City one time. First City, what's going on? Oh, First City, the best city. Um, Global African Sounds is like what we're pushing. I chill with a bunch of talented musicians mm. who make worldwide music. Like 24 make stuff that I can hear bumping in Europe and people are spazzing. It's just mm. like he's here and no one knows about him here. And it's like, yeah. you know, so there's like a, a group of like young dudes coming together who believe in what they're doing. And who have a different like sound and all our sounds like influence each other. You know what I mean? So instead of us like trying to break into the industry like using aka sound and everyone else's sound and travis's sound it's like that's not gonna work there's already an aka mm. yeah i mean i don't think we need like another aka we need other aka's and different variations of it like take inspiration from him do you be inspired to completely yeah, change what he does you know yeah don't go and like copy and paste exactly what he did same type of beats you know, mm. name dropping the brands, you know, you're the super mega and like you're 17, year old, 17 years old, you're not the super mega. Mm. Why are you making music like that? You know, mm. so it's like, yo, people are like actually want to hear the stuff that we have to create. There's a market for it. We just need to go and like find that market. Social media is how you find a lot of that market. I get to see, I check my demographics where which people like my stuff. You know, oh, people actually like this type of sound. Mm -hmm. There's actually a mark. I used to think like, yo, when I was doing You Don't Know Me Yet and The Ugly Truth before that, I thought there was no market for the song. It's yeah. just like, I'm just putting it out there and let's just hear, let's see what happens. And it's like there was a demand for it. And it's like, okay, cool. Then we put out Egypt and it's like, now there was a demand for this newer sound. And it's like, but the old people were still like, ah, oh, we want that old stuff. Yeah. So it's like, I had to find a way to like fuse the old. And it's like, yo, let's get more melodies on the songs. Let's make it more audible. Let's. You, I want people to be able to hear that this is the verse and this is the chorus. Mm. It doesn't need to sound corny or like a chorus and a and a verse. And you know, I want it to all flow and sound like it's one thing. But you yeah. can actually really hear that it's. This is a different part. This is a breakdown in the beats. Um, before, like on you don't know me yet, it's like nah, cocaine goes like man, screw mm. a chorus. No choruses. Yeah. All I ever hear on the radio is choruses. Yeah. See what I mean? So now I'm gonna split this thing and then like nah. Then it's like you perform the songs like nah people you actually you people need, need a to, chorus. You need yeah. a chorus. Yeah you know I mean so it's like let's keep those structures. But um let's switch it up. So we played around like with different sounds, like most of the sounds on the album like I can't categorize them. Yeah, I don't I don't I'm know what genre like, what is this? runaway this galaxy girl music. Is. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know I mean yeah. Runaway Girl is something completely different. Just yeah. an aesthetic and sound. Is, it could be even a house song. Yeah. A European house song. Um, and there's Hosh, which is like just... I love Hosh. Yeah. I mean... I see that's a fan favorite. How many, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, a Star. lot of people are loving that. Yeah. I think it's also... It's, it's, more, it's, it's, it's like another version of... Um, come, come to my, my guys. Exactly. That's exactly it's just what like, it is. You guys took it to the space. That's what I gave. That's know? what I told youngster. I, <laughs> yeah. I sent him the thing. It was the verse. Sent him everything. I'm like, hey, here's the verse. Here's a, there's no chorus really. Uh, here's Weechi. Here's an open verse for you. Please give me a verse. Yeah. You know I mean? And I, I told him like, yo man, it's like come to my gassy part two. Just when I sent him come to my gassy, I was like, this is what it is. F it up. Yeah. I sent him this one. I'm like, here's a song. Do exact like mess it up like I know you would. Yeah. And send me the verse and yeah, that one is yeah. So the streets, the streets like that. They love Osh. I'm seeing know. that. It's, yeah. it's one of the favorites. Yeah. It may look like you only work with your click. Yeah. Um, but what is the reason? And and I know that collaborations need to be organic. You can't yeah. just 
now I must have you know whoever my song because mm. the fans say it must happen sure. but I mean in a history of all your collections of music honestly mm. there's only a few other guys out of Fresh City that you've worked with why yeah. is that particularly with Egypt Deluxe as well yeah. you came out it was still you mm -hmm. and 24 here and a little bit of a youngster sure. there you know? And which is rapping, we'll talk about that. But yeah, man. you know, why, why hey. does it look like you're only working Rappers must watch out for Weechi. Um, I really work with, you know, I've worked with, I've worked with bigger artists. You know, worked with Vusi Nova. Yeah. Been on a song with AKA and Ecstatic, 2012. Ammunition, Mr. Salvin, you know, yeah. and then like the gradually big artists, Shane Eagle, you know, and it's like, and Shane is like my boy, but it's like, because we're not together all the time, he's not available to do the song all the time, you know? It's it's like, it, it took away from the organicness of like what I thought like the song should be, mm. like two guys from the East, you know, shooting this video claiming that, yo, we even shot the video in the East. Yeah. Like, yeah, the East is just as fresh as any other place, you know yeah. what I mean? Mess with us, we the guys, new generation, um yeah but it looked like i felt like yeah i didn't get support from that you know what i mean mm. it's like we performed the song all of once you know and this is after a music video was shot after marketing was done you know mm. all of that stuff mm. that's money and now i'm not performing the song but he you know he's doing his own thing you know what i mean no support on the social media streets yeah. as well and that's True. like my nigga so it's like no nah, cool you can be friends with guys in the industry but it doesn't mean they're gonna you know they're gonna back oh, you like come through like your you, niggas yeah. will and it's like and first city was there it's been there for me every single performance when i didn't have a crowd half the time first city was my crowd yeah yeah people thought like i was messing it up in the club sometimes when i was performing it's like no nah, these are just all my friends who came through because like you guys are too cool for me to perform to so like mm. let me perform for people who actually will like the music you know and we just recorded some of that and like it was cool so it's like yo why not make music with people that i'm actually like with all the time yeah i think it's gonna make just like performing the music so much better actually making the music so much better and that's what i encourage with a lot of artists i've also been trying to say yo hold on with the features like mm. it's not that Let i don't want naturally. yeah yeah you know i mean it's just like it's because i've learned man you know, so, but youngsters like my dude. I just, you know, yeah, every yeah. time we come together, chemistry. He's always so the I'm first like, guy to send the verse back. I'm like, yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people get sent the beats, actually. You know, mm. you, you think that I actually don't reach out to guys for features. You know, I have kind of. And it's like, that's another reason why Fresh City are the guys. Because, like, you know, you send a guy a beat and then, like, eight months down the line, you're still waiting for a beat. You know? mm. I won't main, name drop, you know, because people get touched when you name yeah, drop. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that's what it is. You wait forever. You see you in the streets. You don't get your. I'll get. I'll get we'll, we'll get that work. We'll, we'll yeah, get, I mean, we'll, we'll, get, get, that work, we'll you know? get it done. We'll get it done. I've been having. I've been having those combos <laughs> with Cooley for the past twelve years. That's what it got. And yeah. I like, like Cooley's one of my biggest inspirations. You know what I mean, and it's like, yo, I'm doing pretty, yo. Trust me, son, we're going to get this work. Yeah. And I don't want us to get this work now after this interview type situation. Like, if it happens, it happens. Yeah. It's like, but either way, I'm like on a different, I'm on a completely different like mind frame right yeah. now. You know, even musically, like where I, what I'm trying to do with it and like who I'm trying to align myself with. It's just first city. Yeah. yeah. Where to from now? I mean, Egypt Deluxe is out. I heard you talking about making look like a single. Finally. Screw. Look alike, um, smoke or low carrots were actually supposed to be single yeah. on the last project. So. Yeah. But they still, like you said, someone just, just heard it now. Yeah. So I think you should totally go forth with it. Definitely. You know? So where to from now? Egypt Deluxe just dropped. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think we're kind of sitting on a little bit of a suspense because we're like, okay, so he dropped Deluxe. Okay, so yeah. what now? So we need something to sure. jump to. We mm -hmm. need to do something where we're like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We need to land because yeah. now we're kind of like floating. So, sure. so what's, what's next? Egypt tour. Definitely on the way. You guys have seen the Egypt merchandise. It's on. You know what I mean? You see, you see, you see it on the timeline. You know, go check out the Grand Pretty underscore Ugly. Yeah. Uh, the merchandise is there. Um, we've had in the tours now. We've been shooting the visuals. Uh, got a Bao short film on the way. I didn't want to mention which for short film, but got a Bao the yeah. movie is coming out, and that's crazy. I think yeah, that's gonna be gonna, fun. Yeah, people are gonna see me do like a lot of fun stuff. You know, you know, like. I, 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 sorry to 
watch that book <laughs> again. You know, like I've, I've been quoted a lot saying I don't listen to Kendrick Lamar and I don't listen to J. Cole. Yeah. It's because like I, I don't. It's like I've heard their stuff. Like, yo, they dope. I move on. <laughs> That's just what it yeah. is. You know what I mean? But it's like what I admire about Kendrick Lamar is just like his commitment to like what he does. It's like, yo, this guy is on music videos and he looks like an actor. Yeah. That's I how he committed that. he is to what he's saying. It's like, yo, Kung Fu Ken, he's out there. It's being present. Mm. You know I mean, so Karapao short film is going to have a lot of that. You know, a lot of action. Yeah. Flips. Super exciting. Drama. Mad action. Karapao music. Yeah. Not even music videos. It's a short film on the way uh we started shooting that already when i was with ambitious but you know that's cool i'll be releasing it very 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 soon yeah um more music more more global collaborations actually since deluxe dropped it's been crazy the amount of like international love i've been getting and it's like i know actually like where at first i never really knew because my, my, my social media wasn't as popping back then and i, yeah. I really didn't and we didn't have all these analytics that we that we have now, now you know? yeah. so like guys really use your social media people keep asking me what must i do please no just use your social media push visual record the process you know research. document the source research really yeah. do your research damn do your research it's out there google really yeah um so yeah so a lot of like international a lot of international love you know what i mean um we're doing a uk tour top of 2019 Yay. and that's gonna be amazing um but i'll announce that in november um more international collaborations more music videos you're gonna be seeing like a lot more pretty ugly you know usually in the back in the day i was like a lot more like elusive and it's just like you know I'm, yeah like i want to be like an art piece like you no know, i only perform in art galleries and that's really what i, I really wanted to be niche yeah and um yeah but now you'll be seeing more of me you know uh, not as much of an enigma you know so you'll be seeing more pretty ugly visuals you'll be hearing more music more collaborations too but you know i'm not really rushing the collaborations thing but there already are collaborations in the work and that are already in the hard drive so people will definitely be hearing that yeah um yeah man and more like global african dominance man. yeah yeah listen we're proud of you all the time um my favorite thing about you is how you you remain consistent as a person that's really dope it's really dope to like come up with people and then they're still like that same old person yeah. from when you first met them yeah. that's really dope and i'm really proud of you and i'm i'm really interested to see how what you're gonna do with egypt deluxe you know because when i heard egypt i was like oh man i had all these ideas in my head and then well that went that way yeah. um so I love the refresh, mm -hmm. really, really dope. Um, I was worried when you like deluxe, I'm like, I hope it doesn't give us like 20, 1800 songs, <laughs> you know, but I love that you removed some yeah. and added some. So I'm really excited to see what you're gonna do with the album. And when he goes on tour, let's come out and support the movement. You need to know that everything that is gonna be happening from here on is coming from literally all our pockets, just like all of us literally. pulling together, you know? So literally. come through for the boy, come through for all the artists that are doing it for themselves, you know, yeah. in general. So shout out to you. Thank you so much. Mama. Egypt Deluxe. Egypt Deluxe is our get We're looking on forward to that. Every online store. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, the movement is strong. Everything God to your patience and time, you know, it's not just an album. It's, it's true. It's, it's, it's a lifestyle. It's, it's, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, you know? yeah. God bless you, everyone. Screw. Girlfriend want me stroking in a rare. And I know you smell a potion in the air. I'm cool now, but how much colder I'm going to get? Got a bow seat, the opal, let's get that broadcast live.